Hi guys, it's uh, Deb from Aussie Mail. Um, just doing the Born Again tutorial for the session, the last session that we missed. Um, so this will be just a quick video showing you how to do the Born Again. All right, so I've got a couple of samples here. Um, I tried to use sizes that we could do two colors. I think it looks better with two colors. Um, I was only able to come up with two different sizes with the stock that I have. So this one here is 16 gauge or 1.2 mil and the ring ID is a quarter inch for both of them. So both the BA and the AA, quarter inch ID which is 6.35 millimetres. And this one here, which I've done in two colours, um, is 20 gauge or 0.8 mil and the ring ID for these are 5.30 seconds or 3.97 millimetres. So out of the AA that we stock on Aussie Mail, these were the only sizes that I was actually able to get to work uh, nicely. I was able to do a small section with 14 gauge uh, 5 sixteenths with the rings. Um, now I was using leftover rings, so we've got some rings here from different batches. So you can see one batch, it worked quite well. And then a completely different batch of rings, same colour, same supplier, but they uh, stiffened up. So I didn't put this size down on the tutorial at all because obviously um, there is um, a, a, di a difficulty if the rings are slightly off. I mean, it's still it's still weavable, but it's very tight and it's going to make more of a bangle than a bracelet. Whereas I said these ones here for whatever reason worked brilliantly but that's just to show you what can happen with rings so look same manufacturer same color obviously different batches though and one was weavable and one isn't so these ring sizes are just suggestions I mean you may be able to find other ones that work or you may find that your favorite supplier um, you are able to do it in these sizes but these are the sizes that I show you that I've been able to get to work all right so we'll make a start First off, we need uh, just two rings, closed rings, and I put a twist tie through them so that we position them like this. Um, whoops, I've got them around the wrong way actually. Let me do that again. What I want them to be like is the ring on the top to actually be on my left hand side. I had it on my right hand side there. So make sure you position it so that the ring on the top is on the left hand side. Okay, I just want to mention this is a weave that's done by Kelly Clitheroe, uh, who's an Australian chainmail artist. Uh, she's done quite a lot of weaves herself and this is one of her beautiful weaves. Alright, so we're starting with our two colour one rings, in this case BA for me, putting them on top of each other so that they form a little bit of an eye there in the middle. Okay, so next we're going to grab another one of our C1 rings, our BA rings, and we're going to put it through the eye, just straight through that eye, nothing fancy. Close that ring up, and then we're going to flip that ring to the left hand side, okay, just like that. Then we're going to need a, another colour one ring. And this time we're going to put it around the eye that's formed. We go through the ring on the right hand side, going around the eye and close it. Okay, and we want that to sit to the right hand side like that, like it sits naturally. Okay, so we've got that so far. So you can see that these two new rings just in here form another eye. That's where we're going to be placing our next ring through that eye there. So another colour one ring going straight through the eye like we did before. Closing that up. Closing that, there we go. Now we want this ring 
to sit up like this. Okay, just like that there. We're going to take another colour one ring. We're going to put it just straight through the right hand ring only. Nothing else, just picking up that right hand ring. Close it up. Okay. And what that does is it brings us back sort of like the two rings that we had at the beginning there. Okay. So what we're going to do now is take up another colour one ring, put it straight through that eye that was just formed, close it up, okay, and we're going to flip that over to the left hand side, and then we're going to take up another colour one ring, and we're going to put it around the eye. So like we did before, coming up through the back of the right hand side, through the front of the left hand ring, making sure we go around that eye. We're not picking up any other rings, just those two. And we're closing that one up. Okay, so our work now looks like this. Okay. And we're now going to move on to our colour two rings. So our first lot of colour two rings is going to go down through this eye and through this eye here. So we want it to go down through here, back up through this eye. All right, so colour two ring this time. We go down through that eye. So we're picking up those two top rings on the right. And we're bringing it around so we pick up the two top rings on the left. Okay, can you see that? And we close that ring up. Okay, so our work currently looks like this. What we now want to do is put our next colour ring through the eyes that are formed by the bottom two rings. So this one here and this one here. We also want to come on and pick up this ring here. Okay, so grabbing our colour one ring, put it up through that first eye, up through the colour two ring there, sorry, and then down through that eye in there. And we close that ring. Okay, and your work looks like this. All right, so that's one unit that's done of the weave. And what we now need to do is just extend the base out and keep adding the rings. Okay, so once you've got your color rings in place and you're ready to extend the base, we take up a colour one ring and we put it through the eye that's formed here by those last two colour one rings. Okay, go straight through that eye, close it up and we want that ring to just sit like that. We don't necessarily need it to flip to a side or anything. We take up another colour one ring. This time we're going to put it just straight through the ring there on the right hand side, nothing else, just that ring. And we're going to close that up. Okay, so this brings us back to this formation which you've seen before the two rings with the eye forming. Okay, so we grab another colour one ring and we put it straight through the middle of that eye and we close it. Okay, so our work looks like this. You can see I've just gone through that eye. We flip that ring over to the left hand side of the weave, taking up another colour one ring. And we're going to put it around the eye this time like we have before. So we bring it up through the back of the white ring on the right, around the eye and through the front of the ring on the left. 
Okay, making sure we don't pick up any other rings and we close that up. Okay, so now you can see we've got one eye here formed by the new rings that we added and we've got the eye over here that was formed last time that we've already put a colour ring through. So those are the two eyes that we're now going to feed our next colour two ring through, in this case our red ring. So we just go straight into that eye there, that new eye there, bring it up and go through the eye that we used previously. We don't go through any other rings, just go straight through those eyes, close that ring up. Okay. Now that we've got that one done, our next ring is going to go through this eye that's here, that's formed by the two new rings on the bottom. It's also going to go through the eye that's formed that we used previously with the colour ring. You can see that there. Not forgetting to pick up the colour ring that's already in the weave. Okay, so to do that, go straight up through that eye, making sure you pick up both those silver rings, not any colour ring that was there previously. Pick up the colour ring at the top, and then we're going to bring it down through that eye there. And we'll close that up. So that's what the weave looks like and we just keep going on from there. I'll show you one more repetition. So we've now just added our colour two rings or our AA rings. We want to extend this base out a little bit. So we take our first open ring and we pop it through the eye of the last two colour one rings there. Just straight through that eye, no, nothing fancy. Okay, close that ring up and we want that ring to sit like this. We don't want to flip it particularly to any side or anything. It doesn't really matter at this stage but that's the position we want it to be in when we put the new rings in. We take one more colour one ring. This time we're going through just the ring on the right. Nothing else, just that ring. Closing it up. Okay, now when we position our two rings you can see we've again got the eye in the middle. We're going to put another colour one ring straight through that eye. Close it up. And we're going to flip that to the left. Our next ring goes around the eye that's formed. So to do that, we come up through the ring on the right, through the back around the eye and through the front of the ring on the left and we close that ring up. Okay so that's given us the base then and our colour rings therefore are going to go through this new eye here that's been formed by these last two rings and it's also going to go through this eye back here that we put the previous one through. You can see that there? So through those two eyes, so I just go straight through the front of this one, bring it around and go straight up the back of that one there. Make sure you don't pick up any other rings, we're going just straight through the eyes and we close that up. Okay, now our next coloured ring, the eyes we're looking for is this one here that's been formed by the two new rings that we put in there. We're also going to go through this eye over here that we used with the previous segment. Not forgetting that we're going to pick this ring up here as well. Okay, so to do that, I just go straight up through the back of that eye that we used before, continue up through to pick up the colour ring, and then bring it down so that it goes through that eye there of the last two rings. And we close that ring. And you just keep repeating those steps. 
until you reach the length that you need. Okay, so it looks different both sides because of the coloured rings. Uh, I personally like it this way, but it's up to you. So that's it, that's Born Again, a weave by the Australian chainmail artist Kelly Clitheroe. And hopefully that demonstration has helped you able to um, make your own beautiful bracelet.